in its pretty peeps. Moloni guys. Moloni guys. My husband asked me to check if his card is there. It's not. It's not here, baby. Huh? It's not here. Oh, leaving Alright. Love you. Love you Bye. 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 I haven't done my skincare because I was in such a rush and I knew that if I apply it, I'm gonna sweat. So I'll either do it when I get to the nail salon or gonna get a routine or something. But good morning guys. Oh guys here. Yeah. One thing about me, no matter what time I wake up, I've been awake for like three hours solid. And look at where I am. I'm going to a nail salon. Um, I'm going to try a new place, Eve on board. A lot of you guys might be familiar with it. I'm trying it out for the first time today. Cha. Have I even introed this vlog? Have I even introed this vlog? Moleni, 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 guys. Um, welcome. <laughs> oh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Zizi. We do a lifestyle content on this channel, mainly in the form of vlogs, everyday life um, vlogs. So if that is your type of vibe, please do consider subscribing to this channel. Today is Wednesday, yeah. I think I started this vlog on Sunday when my husband and I went 
for brunch after church um, and then I just kind of abandoned the ship from them. To be quite honest, I've been feeling really, really tired. Let me just, just see where I'm supposed to turn. To case the camera. To be quite honest, I've been feeling really tired. Like really really tired this week i'm so tired that's why i didn't vlog the past couple of days but it's fine i do it's fine nobody says i'm to have to vlog every day so it's all right right now i'm on my way to the nail salon um i'm trying a new place that ubelo recommended i typically do my waxes and my pedicure at life lux in sanson but i tried to make an appointment last week or was it the week before i can't even remember when it was I think it was last week though. I tried to make an appointment last week and I was told that my nail tech and my wax lady left the salon. So now I'm forced to try a new place. But another reason why I actually just thought of trying a new place is because then the price of feminine maintenance is insane. It's insane. And one thing about me, we are trying to buy a girl, so not doing feminine maintenance for me is not an option. So I have to find more budget friendly ways to do it. Um, but at the same time, I like a nice experience. I'm sure you can see my hair is also a mess. I need to first secure an appointment for braids and then I'll take the sew in out. I've had the sew in, I kept my word, I had the sew in. Oh, we're turning here. I had the sew in for a solid six weeks. So, yeah, lots of family maintenance going on. Hello, is Ivan born in here? No, just just my nails and my waxes. Okay, thank you. So I didn't do my skincare routine properly because I thought to myself, I'm gonna sweat because I was in such a rush. But yeah, this vlog is gonna be a lot of feminine maintenance, guys. This girl is going to upgrade herself, look good. Uh, and just be a woman way too. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah. Let's go and be beautiful. Usually I don't post. I don't post. I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe. Yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I'm a rash girl. I'm just not one of those babes. I'm just not one of those babes. I just don't think I'm just one of those girls. But you know what my mistake was, ne? My mistake, guys, was not doing classic lashes. Don't mind my hair, okay? Like, we, we spoke about the fact that my hair is a mess. This is not my final form. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. I just have to keep this door open because I So I'm saying, let's see, my, my, my hair is not my final form. I'm still going to fix it. I need to take the sew in out, get my hair washed, do braids. But I thought, let me start with lashes and brows and waxes and whatnot. So the lady who did my waxes, um, including my bikini, 
my underarm and my bras her name is Kiki she did a stellar job Kiki girl you did a good job and I, I got along quite well with her but I'm not so sure about these lashes child but I think the mistake was that I did hybrid I should have just done classic I honestly should have just done classic I don't even know why I chose hybrid um, I guess I wanted to look like I have lashes but I should have just done classic with like a length 10 or 12 because that's what I feel like I can bear this is too much this is like hybrid um, can I I look like I just came out of a naughty hood movie my nails this is what they look like these were really affordable though I must say like for a brand new set and a soak off I paid like 400 rand or 410 yeah yeah 410 for a, for a soak off and a brand new set so yeah this this was really really affordable way with my current nail take Sana, I pay 550 for like a fill and that's but I guess that's because um, she does call outs but even then I pay like 450 I think for a fill and then 100 rand is the call out fee so she is quite expensive with Christine but she's better I, I have to admit it she is better yeah the nails are not bad my waxes went really well the lashes I think I made a mistake by choosing the wrong type of lashes I think I should have just gone with classic I think I'm gonna have to soak these off because these I can't I can't stay like this so I think I'm gonna go and soak these off all I'm sort of saying maybe I should just keep them until they start to like fall out and then go do a soak off and just do classic um, but I don't think I can stick it out for two weeks with these <sighs> um, I'm tired guys I've been here for four and a half hours I've been four and a half hours I'm 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 tired I'm tired I did a pedicure a soak off and a pedicure like a full pedicure I did a soak off and a manicure I did a bikini underarm and brow wax and I did lashes and all of that can I tell you cost 1.8 Santin salons could never Santin salons could never with those prices but you know what it makes sense why this place is more affordable because it doesn't give you at least like this even board. I know there's even bought Lux as well. I haven't tried that one. So I'm sure that one is probably a little bit more similar to like the luxury salons. But I understand why it's more affordable. It's not a luxury experience. So let me go home. I'm tired and hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. All I had was a cup of coffee this morning. Let me go home and get myself. Oh, should I get Nando's? Yo, guys, my energy, my energy levels are so low in this vlog. Let me stop talking and let me go home because I'm tired. I'm tired. Good morning, guys. Good morning. As you can see, my lashes are gone. Yeah, it's on the boy lashes. I'm starting this pretty laser. I like plug them up because I couldn't do it. I felt like I looked so tacky. And on top of that, there's in the cinder. There's in the cinder. So, sana i lashes but now um i'm about to get my hair done i washed my hair usually i don't post usually i don't post but i want the world to know i'm a good catch but i never let them catch me no i never let them claim me wild thing try to tame me but you got my mood on sunshine let's take a trip Sana yapelela apo Once again, yapelela apo inda bayam no rapelang or rapeling. Guys, as you can see, between na andina braiding. Yeah, andina braiding, guys, because you see this part here, this part here. This is the part that my hairdresser had um, braided. Don't worry, it's not completely bad news. This is the part that she had braided. And then I realized that, so Bendenza is a, is a braids as Nekel's name. When she got here, because obviously unborn got here, but when she got here, I do this and I realize I can't color. 
like the fiber is the right color but the curls are not the right color so i'm like sissy um the color and Sana, the color was not right and this it wasn't even her fault it wasn't even her fault it was oh, they didn't tell her that the hair needed to be dyed so i specifically asked for ukala one um for both the fiber and the curls and i was very specific because i wanted them to match in fact there's a lot of things that happened but the, the last throw was that um and then i was like no this is not the right color then i was like can we just call the salon to find out what's what's happening what's going on so the phone is like yeah room mobile but you all know we completely apologize um we didn't communicate with the hairdresser actually and shame it was honestly not her fault like it was it was not her fault um and they apologized and they even apologized to her and they said ma um can she please bring the hair back and then they need to dye it because it's human hair they need to dye it and then she can come back tomorrow morning and luckily she doesn't have a booking for tomorrow morning so that's what's happening between um first in fact in fact yeah oh, there's so many things that happen they first didn't tell her the type of fiber that i want in fact in fact let's backtrack let's backtrack first things first i booked with a specific hairdresser and this morning that hairdresser ghosted me right and then i called the saloon i let them know by hey uh is this hairdresser still coming you know i can't get a hold of her and then they were like okay let's try her so they tried to call her she was nowhere to be found so they were like okay let's get you a new hairdresser i was like okay thank god you can give me a new one at least so they got me this new lady Ukuku. And they were like, Ukuku is good, don't worry, you'll be well taken care of. I was like, sharp. She came over again around half 11. And then, and she, she was, she's so pleasant. Like, she's so pleasant. She was giving me such a good, like, at home salon experience. Um, and she was very gentle with my hair, even. And then, when it was time to take the fiber out, I said to her, Go expression. And she was like, No, go one million. I was like, No, but I specifically asked for expression because I don't like one million. And then she was like, Yo, they didn't communicate that to me. And then when I looked back at the chat between me and her and the salon, they didn't tell her. I told the salon expression, but they didn't tell her. Fine, gay. I was like, You know what? It's okay. Um, I have expression um, extensions that they have been sitting in my cupboards for a couple of months, so I took them out, and luckily, they were like just enough. I had two packets, but now I was like, mm, I'm still paying full price. You guys are still making me full pay full price, but, anyways, but I let it go. It wasn't her fault, it was okay. But then, but then when they when I saw Gucci, even the curls are not the right curls that I pay, that I paid for. I was like, no. And to be honest, if this hair was like cheaper, like if the if the service was a bit cheaper, then I would have been okay with it. But two thousand three hundred rand for braids, I better be getting <laughs> what I asked for. So with the curls not being right, I was like, no, no. So shame the salon apologized to me. They apologized to the hairdresser, and I'm hoping that they're gonna compensate her properly. But I think maybe tomorrow I should tip her because sometimes employers don't do the right thing so maybe tomorrow i should like give her a nice generous tip just to apologize for the inconvenience because it's not her fault but it's also not my fault it's the salon's fault yeah that's why i'm getting and i'm a bit annoyed because tomorrow i had plans for my day and now like i just spent the whole day well half the day not the whole day half the day sitting getting my hair done and getting my hair unbraided and then tomorrow i'm gonna spend the whole day getting my hair done and tomorrow is my anniversary so i wanted to go shopping i wanted um <clears throat> to like get dressed properly have a proper time to do my makeup and you know get ready for dinner because my husband and i are gonna go out for dinner for our anniversary tomorrow. but it's fine it's fine but like it isn't all these things happen because i'm sorry it's okay it's okay <laughs> anyways let me let me um tidy up my house and just do some of the chores that i was planning to do tomorrow i got a gift today guys from like a black owned business that i happen to speak about in like last week in my instagram stories and i think i even mentioned them in the vlog as well they sent me a gift they sent me a gift to say thank you so much for tagging us and you know what guys i have to show you this hold on i have to show you this so the, the company that sent me this gift guys is vero's cakes it's the same company where i ordered um the scones last week for the funeral it's a cake and some cupcakes how pretty Hey Bandla, hi Bo, guys. It says we are influenced. Thank you. Oh my gosh. 
Vero's Cakes, thank you so much. This is so genius. This literally made my heart smile. They phoned me and they were like, Zizi, we want to send you a little something to say thank you for tagging us in your stories. I think these are red velvet. I wonder what this cake is, but I'll cut it later with my hubby. But these are red velvet cupcakes. They were like, we want to send you something to thank you for tagging us in their stories. And I was like, say less, not the address. And they sent me these and they got delivered today. This is so sweet. Thank you so much, Vero's Cakes. If you guys are looking for cakes for your events or scones, muffins, for any event that you're having or even just for your house, I will put their details right here on the screen. In fact, in fact I'll put their Instagram page right here on the screen and I'll put their address, contact number and uh, Instagram handle in the description box. Please utilize them guys. It is a black woman owned business. Period.
But let me show you guys real quick. It's a bit dim in this room. So my husband needs to fix this light bulb. He needs to fix this light. He needs to get a new light bulb. This one is off and that one over there. But I want to show you my hair. Betuna, I finally got my hair braided yesterday. Um, by Ukuku. Phew. Cha. My braids are done, honey. My braids are my braids are done. This is what they look like. I can't like stand all the way up because the night and the day is really short. Okay, maybe it's a bit dim. Hold on. I just brighten this a tiny bit. Okay, hopefully that's better. My braids are done, yeah. Um they come up to like here, almost by my waist. Um I got them done yesterday finally and it's those braids that I like which I've done these braids a couple of times before they are done with expression and then the curls are human hair but I'm not gonna lie these curls are not the same as the previous ones and I'm struggling to understand why because you see that they barely have a curl pattern and literally is all they were like styled with mousse and everything but nonetheless um, these are the braids. They're finally done. I like them, but they're not like the ones I did before. They're not. I think the issue is the curls. It's not the installation. Like, it's not the... The installation, like, 
is perfect it's exactly how i like it it's the curls that are just kind of off but it's okay it's okay i think we didn't play regardless so it's all right so um today is saturday the second let me close the door one second you'll always be the biggest part of me okay so i'm saying today is saturday it's the third of march no second 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 of march second of march happy new month um yesterday was actually my husband and i's anniversary i think i mentioned it already but Santa, our marriage turned three can you believe that and we're saying to each other but can you believe we've literally been married for three years and we have not killed each other <laughs> yeah guys honestly the best three years of my entire life um my husband and i have been together for seven years now next month in april is going to be a full seven years i've been with this man since i was like 23 years old literally since i was like 23 years old and he was 26 when we started dating um i'm 30 now and he's 33 yeah he's 33 so we've been together for a while but we've been married for three years and before we got married actually um if you've been here for a while you'll know that we were in a long distance relationship for the vast majority of our dating relationship when we started dating i was living in cape town and he was living here in Joburg. i was working in cape town and so was he um even though we knew we, like we met back in 2012 um in varsity we were both in varsity at the time i was in first year he was in fourth year we met back then um but we only started dating um in 20 17 yeah i think it was 2017 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 yeah 2017 was i dating april 2020 2017 and we got married march 1st 2021 um and we're in a long distance relationship and i moved here in 2020 so that we could be together and get married and now we are celebrating three years three years of marriage i wanted to do um some reflections on marriage while i get dressed and do my makeup we're going for sorry sorry my mind is all over the place okay today's saturday yesterday which was friday the first of march was our third year anniversary like wedding anniversary um we actually got married on the first of march but because it was like slap bang in the middle of lockdown and covid we couldn't have like our proper wedding celebration then so we ended up having like a wedding at home like an intimate wedding which is like super close family i'll link it here and only in october of 2021 did we actually have our white wedding i will link that video <laughs> as well um yeah and so hence our anniversary is is in march yesterday we couldn't celebrate because i was getting my hair done um my husband was at work the whole day i was home getting my hair done was supposed to go out for date nights but by the time it was time for us to go out i was still doing my hair so unfortunately so i spent my whole anniversary and i said i was chasing but he got me flowers he got me chocolate um for our anniversary and we're hoping to take a little bit of a short leave sometime during the course of this month um now at the end of feb the 29th of feb on thursday was his financial year end so like work was hectic um so i couldn't really take a break off work right now but i'm hoping towards the end of this month um either the weekend of the 22nd or the weekend of the 29th we're gonna go out for a little bit of a short lift but we'll see we'll see if his leave schedule allows for it um yeah and also because we're hoping to start our home projects so yeah we need to actually work out when exactly we're gonna start that we're hoping this month was probably going to end up in april to be quite honest because we do want to take the short leave but we'll see what well, we're going to try and time it we're going to try and time it but for tonight we're just going to go for the date night that we we're meant to go out on yesterday i wanted to do some like reflections um on how marriage has been and like you know just a husband appreciation chat but i think maybe in second like voice over when him and i go out for dinner i'll vlog and i'll just do like a voice over um because time is not on my side sana it's already 20 past six and our reservation is at seven luckily i've showered i just need to do my makeup i feel like my hair is fine um i just do my makeup put on like a satin dress and go out that's when tell my man to celebrate our anniversary just my makeup
yeah, yeah, yeah Damaged One man's trash is another man's baggage Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere Space suit on, can't breathe this air TNT going off in here Ain't we a pair? Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me Cause you always wanna touch me My phones will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me One more shot, one more round Pound for pound Promise I'll let you down One more shot, one more round Don't step on my rose Don't step on my rose Petals Don't step on my rose Yeah. And now I can't even wipe this off. I feel like it's gonna mess up my makeup. Yeah, I'm the yak. It's alright. Situations left you lonely. Try to give you my best shot, but my best don't mean a lot. Bulls, I always miss that spot. It's all I got. Cause you always wanna touch me. My phones will leave you bleeding. That's why I'm always leaving. Believe me. Hot. And my acorn is not working. Just gonna put on my jewelry, Sana. It's already seven. If not after seven, ten past. You think you're the. You're not even the fart. <laughs> <laughs> that song is so silly. Actually, you're not even the fart. So these, um, is it Bottega? Or is it Balenciaga? I think it's Bottega. These Bottega dupes that I'm putting on are from Live Beauty. I should actually make a real yes with my Live Beauty collection. Because then she has an entire collection at this point. Don't mind the fact that I'm already starting to sweat. I just drink some water. So I need this aircon. This office fixed. These Bottega dupes are so nice. They're from Live Beauty. I'll put a link in the description box. This um, am I okay? This Von Cleef and Opal's bracelet is also from Live Beauty. So I'm going to wear this bracelet on this hand. And then on this hand, I'm going to wear this Daniel Wellington watch. My hubby bought this for me maybe like three months back. Um, I had sent it to him a few months ago. And I came back from Cape Town from a work trip. And he had bought it for a girl. My darling, please come help me. I need you to help me put this bracelet on. I saw belief. You think you're the, you're not even the fart. <laughs> and then this here is a tennis, probably not gonna be able to even see that. This is a tennis like necklace that my hubby bought me. Trying to think if I should wear it as a necklace or as a bracelet because I do sometimes wear it and like double line it like that, right? I double line it like that. Mm, I think I'll wear it as a bracelet, yeah. I think I'll wear it as a bracelet. In the meantime, you think you're, a, you're not even a fart? 
Okay. Let's start the camera. Okay, so there's the bracelet with my watch. Then there's this bracelet. This side. This is like yellow gold. This is rose gold, but it's okay. It's alright, Dimple. Either way, Dimple. I wanted to do a red lip, but I can't find my red lipstick. But tomorrow, actually, I want to go buy some makeup. So we're going to go um, together. Either tomorrow or Monday. This is the hand cream that I'm using. Love this, babe. It's from Yusu and it's the Urea Repair Plus hand cream. Absolutely adore this product. Let's put on some perfume and go. I think for a bag, I'm going to take this coach bag. I need to buy myself like an evening date night bag that's like formal. Something, I want the YSL sunset, but sometimes the bag is like one million. So it will have to come somehow when I don't have other more important priorities for my thing. But for tonight, I think I'll just do this bag. I really like this bag, like a lot. I think for tonight is I'm going to combo and I wanna go now to the combo. Um I'm gonna do um can you see that properly? Stand at this light. I'm gonna do hibiscus. There we go, that's better. I'm gonna do hibiscus. No, focus here, Taylor. Yo okay, I think that's better. <laughs> I'm gonna do hibiscus mahajad by Maison Cravetti. And then I'm gonna pair that with um flower bomb ruby orchid guys i like this perfume so much see how how much um i've used i've used basically half the fragrance and this is like a hundred more bottle this was a pr gift from ox store this i purchased at skins cosmetics oh and this perfume guys you have to sp spray it like sparingly because it is very strong like yeah, I think those first sprays, um, those four sprays are enough. And then I'm gonna top it with this. This one is not as strong, so you can do it a little bit more than the other one. This, this is my combo for the night. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go. You oh, the same clip. I never knew it was possible for a man to come into your life and completely change it. But you, dear sir, have done exactly that. You are everything I could have ever wished for in a husband. You are kind, patient, considerate. You are my deepest friend, my lover, my confidant, advisor, leader, and the one I can share all of myself with. When I think of someone in this world who is for me, it is you, me and Wam. And I thank God daily for your life and who you are. I've been with you since I was 23 years old. And with each passing year, I love you more and admire you more and more. Thank you, Standwa Sami, for loving me the way that you do. Thank you for laying down your life for me, for loving me the way that Christ loves his church. Thank you for choosing me, pursuing me, keeping your promises to me. Thank you for providing for me, protecting me, ensuring me every day that I can always rely on you. Thank you for changing my circumstances, for making my life better in every way possible. Thank you for accepting me and all that I come with, for being gracious towards me. Thank you for being the leader I always needed. If I could choose a husband again, it would be you, over and over and over again, me and Wam. You are more than I could have ever thought or imagined for myself. I pray that my baby girls would marry someone just like you. And I pray that God gives us the strength and wisdom to raise our sons to be just like you. You are the husband of my dreams, and I pray that God would help me to love you, respect you, and support you in all the ways that you need for as long as we both shall live. I pray that God will strengthen us through the difficult seasons of our life together, that he would keep us in the faith, 
for himself and for each other. I pray that we never grow weary of loving each other, respecting each other all the days of our lives. And most importantly, I pray that we would love God more than we love one another today and forevermore. Amen. Happy anniversary, Sam. I pray that these past three years would only just be a foundation of a lifetime together. Earlier this month, we were celebrating, um, earlier this year rather, we were celebrating Mama and Papa's 38 year wedding anniversary. I pray that one day that will be us, my love, with our own children, celebrating 30, 35, 40, even 50 years of marriage. I pray that we would be an example to our children of a Christ-centered marriage. And I pray that we will love each other more and more and more. I never thought that was possible, but I have learned that it is. I love you more than anything else in this world. And I pray that God would sustain the love that we have for each other for as long as we both shall live. Amen. Thank you, thank you, sir. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Sana, I had to get myself together now because I went to church, Sana, looking like a para because we were in such a hurry. We woke up so late this morning because we were tired from last night. So I had to get myself together quick quick before we go out for brunch today is sunday i don't even know what the date is i think it's the third of march and we are doing our usual sunday rituals <laughs> we're going for brunch at tasha's um my watch is from daniel wellington my necklace and my earrings are from live beauty my dress is from h&m and the bag is from coach this is my outfit please go out to your polar so polar what tasha is this is a Zalam, I think it's from Woolies. Could be wrong though. Let's go eat. Let's go. Yo, I don't have energy. We can get like fine. Yeah, let's go. Let's go home. Like I wanted the cone. Must be stronger. If you can't have a mall, do you have data? Yo, I. It's a sign. Let's go home. Where's your phone? It's here in my bag, but I don't have data. I don't want to buy it now. Can't have Wi-Fi. Let's go to. There's Wi-Fi at home, my love. Let's go home. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, maybe they relocated to somewhere else in the center. Yeah, that's what I'm also thinking. Mm. But where? Because they they move one ice cream place to open another one with the same place. True, <laughs> true. And then, hi, Bo.
Ngati, there's a card stuck in here. Let me try another one outside. Guys, I'm being made to drive. Before he global as well. Because you're driving me. Before he global. What? In your life, we can. Basically, at this point, managing the like global. Did you pay for parking? I did. Don't change gears. Why must I change gears? Yeah, you see, why? you see, if you're gonna be at the to travel, it's always gonna get a hell out of I'm at one because I'm literally going at 10 kilometers per hour, babe. Hey, man, you're gonna pass up. You're gonna be shy. Guys, I'm gonna pay the bills too. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pay that mortgage. Wow. Eh? What's that? Yeah, I got it. Because I paid the mortgage as well. At this point, I might as well pay the mortgage. <laughs> you know the people who were, who were parked next to us were laughing at the fact that you don't want to drive your husband. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna go home. Because 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 I'm just gonna go home. Don't comment on my driving or how close I am to the steering wheel. Don't, don't say anything. Okay. Why? Ooh, ooh, cha. Yeah, but it's your fault. You go from Peggy. I'm not giving. You go from Peggy. She actually shouldn't be driving. <laughs> and, and I hope there's traffic cops. <laughs> yeah. I hope there's traffic cops there. <laughs> I hope there's traffic cops there. They didn't go to I such and he made me drive. I'm knowing very well what's saying that I said. Hello guys, editing Zizi here. Sana. I'm editing this vlog. I'm trying to wrap it up and not me not me remembering ba ndati ndenza i giveaway ye perfume and then da libalo announcer. Guys, I'm so sorry. I was actually meant to announce in the previous vlog um because i think i announced a competition two vlogs ago so in the previous vlog i was meant to announce who the winners are i completely forgot how but i remembered today <laughs> and i spent some time on my phone selecting the winners and we have five winners for that perfume giveaway if you didn't watch that vlog i'm going to link it somewhere here in the cards and i'll put the thumbnail for it here but we were celebrating 50,000 subscribers. And I think now, actually, while I'm editing this vlog, we are now on, I think, 54,000. 54,800. So I just want to come on and say thank you so, 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 so much to all of you guys who are one, subscribed to this channel. You are what make things go around over here, okay? I really appreciate that you kind of endorse my content and you don't, you confirm about it badly and then the ends are up. So thank you so, so much for subscribing. Thank you to those of you guys who entered the competition. There were so many comments. I think that video had like a record number of comments of all my YouTube videos that I've ever posted. So thank you so, so much for commenting and for letting me know how you discovered this channel and letting me, and following the rules also, because I noticed some people try to enter the competition but they didn't like give me all the information that i needed i needed to know when you subscribe to this channel when you discover this channel i needed to know what your instagram handle is so i can reach out to you as well as what your first and second options are for the perfumes but anyways thank you so much to all of you guys who entered and do not fear i will have many giveaways we are almost like 60 000 subscribers um we just need like five thousand more we will give an, we'll do another giveaway at 60,000 subscribers and I'll try to make sure that it's not the same people that are winning again and again. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for entering, guys. Those of you who missed the vlog or who can't remember, these are the fragrances that I'm giving away. We're doing five fragrances to celebrate 50,000 subscribers. So the first one was the Fenty Eau de Parfum. This, um, 
fragrance i gave the fragrance notes but this fragrance um the winner of it is oh and capsule i will dm you on instagram girl please look out for my dm um but yeah i'll put her comment like right over here so girl if you recognize yourself please go and check on instagram if i dm'd you but um i'm sure by the time i put out this vlog i would have already dm'd you so please this is your prize i will post it to you i don't have the packaging anymore because i've had this fragrance for a little bit of a while so i got rid of the packaging but i'll find a way to like protect it nicely and i will send it to the to your nearest pep or your nearest um post net whichever one of the two you have close to you i will send this to you the second prize um or the second perfume rather because they're all perfumes is um kayali uh the brand is kayali the, the perfume is called Uto um utopia vanilla cocoa oh, i'm a bit sad about giving this one away this perfume is so good I'm a, I'm a bit sad about giving this one away but the new owner of this babe and guys these bottles are still like basically new because they're full um the winner for this one is matt underscore Sibu. i will put her comment right over here girl you are the winner of this fragrance um and i will send it to you as well i i will send you a dm on instagram the third perfume is a dupe for um delina exclusive which is my favorite fragrance of all time it was yeah that will always be my favorite fragrance until i find something better and i've loved that fragrance for years it was my dream wedding scent but i couldn't afford it back then um this is not it this is just the dupe for it and this fragrance is called club de nuit imperial and it is by armoff such a stunning stunning bottle and the winner of this babe is unasi p underscore metze that's your instagram handle uh, I'll put her comment right over here and I will send you a DM. Um, luckily, this one still comes in the packaging. It still has all of its packaging, thank God. So I'm just going to like wrap it up and post it to you, girl. And then at uh, number four, uh, second last, um, the perfume is um, Nebras by Latafa. This one as well. I purchased this and it still had it still has the packaging the packaging for this is so beautiful look at this guys my focus my autofocus is not working properly for some strange reason but this is the fragrance i love this packaging i love this packaging and this is the fragrance here this is the fragrance what a beautiful bottle this fragrance smells very similar to the eilish by billy eilish oh it's so nice oh this is so nice this is so nice <laughs> why did i decide to give these things away but you know what god rewards a giving heart okay let me extend my heart and then others will extend their hearts to me. And in fact, you guys already extend your hearts to me just by merely watching my content. So honestly, you extend your hearts to me. I extend my heart to you. Uh, but yeah, I purchased this. I barely wore it, but it, it is beautiful. The winner of this one is Shamiso underscore T. I will put her comment right over here. Congratulations, girl. And I will send you a DM um, so I can get your details and post this to you ASAP. And then, last but not least, the last perfume is Wajad by Swiss Arabian. This one I didn't purchase. Yeah, this one I didn't purchase. This was a gift, a PR gift. Um, and I never really used it. I think I probably used it once or twice. And this is Wajad. This is a very, very popular fragrance. Like a very, very popular fragrance. Um, and it is by Swiss Arabian. And the winner of this perfume is Upume underscore P. I will put um, a screenshot of her comment right here. This one is still in the packaging as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So three of these perfumes I purchased with my own money. Two of them were um, PR gifts from the brands. Yeah. So those are the winners, guys. Like I said, I will send all of you guys DMs on Instagram. Please respond and give me the details that I'm asking for. Um, I won't post the thing exactly to your house. 
um i will rather post it to your nearest pep or your nearest post net like i said and also um i'll give you like seven days to respond to my message and give me like your details so i can send it to you and if i don't get a response in seven days i'm gonna have to move on and give you perfume to the next person so please i beg please 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 respond to my message um and give me the details so i can send you your gift so you can smell good girl so you can smell good thank you guys so much for watching that brings us to the end of this vlog i just had to come in and insert that part while i was editing thank you so so much for watching guys I'm, i'll end this vlog here i do really really appreciate each and every single one of you guys and this content would not be at the subscribe accounts if it wasn't for every single one of you who watch the content engage with it and like i said earlier we will have more and more and more and more giveaways as is we are going to continue and do more giveaways um but yeah until the next vlog thank you so much for watching and i hope that you guys have a lovely week bye guys <laughs>